our hydroponic herb garden. <clears throat> and hydroponics is um, one of the ways that we grow food here out on the farm. Uh, this is a drip irrigation system and it's actually very, very easy. However, my professor is the creator of this particular system, which is called Vertigrow. And um, it's about stacking polystyrene pots on top of each other, and we use a coconut core. And the coconut core is the medium that the plant grows in, so it's not actual soil. Um, so with the coconut core, it's a very clean product. However, it does need a nutrient a fertilizer. Um, Tim Carpenter, my professor up at UF, he has his own synthetic fertilizer that he uses um, because here on this farm we are 100% organic and we only use growing organic methods. Um, I choose to use, make my own earth syrup fertilizer, whatever. You, I don't like the term fertilizer because it's, it's just a synthetic word and it just doesn't really work. So we call earth nourishing or earth syrup or earth candy, whatever you want to call it. Um, so with that being said, um, I do use different things. Um, I use uh, coffee grounds and honey mixture um, or a molasses of some sort. We, um, all the old vegetables and stuff that we don't compost, we throw in the garbage disposal and we use that. I dilute it. Um, you know, three times in distilling and become a liquid purifier. We use chicken manure out on the farm or a horse manure or cow. And um, so we use a bunch of different methods. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So, you know, you're kind of picking and choosing which plants go where and which likes, you know, the peppers and the tomatoes love the chicken manure. Um, however, you know, the herbs don't like it as much as that so you know it's all a balance and when you're making it yourself you just keep trying till something <laughs> fruit grows from it <laughs> so um, so this system has been a little more challenging obviously I'm a soil scientist so we promote mostly soil and the minerals and um, chemists in the soil base is a bit different than growing through hydroponics so, um, so, but we have a lot of fun and we like to show all the different ways that we grow here on the farm. We don't use pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides on the property. So, um, we do get bugs and we do get disease and, um, you know, sometimes we win and sometimes we lose and that's, you know, the gamble in farming. However, we do um, raise our own pests here on site at the farm, and I raise green lace wings. Um, I also raise ladybugs, uh, a specific ladybug that's predaceous to white fly, which is Delphustus pusillus. And they all live here on the farm and have a particular job to do on the farm. Praying mantis you may find on the farm. And then we have our um, aviary, the bees in the back, which do all of our pollinating. So um, we're really proud of that. Some, like I said, you know, it doesn't work 100% all the time, but we, we do a pretty good job. We do a pretty good job. <laughs> so we, we take a lot of pride in it and, um, and we just keep trugging on. So it's, it's good stuff. Let's go to the aquaponics garden and I'll show you another form of where we go and that's in that hoop house. How the system works is we have raised koi and tilapia. And the tilapia, obviously, once they become mature, we harvest them and we sell them at the market. Um, the tilapia and the koi, as you can see, you've got three tiers and three levels of ponds over here to my left, your right. And um, the fish excrement is the natural food that pumps up and feeds the plants. So this particular system um, is completely self-sustaining. So what happens is the nutrients pump up, they fill up and they self-level themselves into these tanks over here. The plants are getting the perfect food and nutrition that they need to grow. The water is constantly flowing 
So once it fills up, there's a suction, it comes down, and then it fills into these floating ponds, and then back into this recycling. So, but what happens once it gets to these points and to that point as well, as you will see, let's find a nice big one. If you could pull one of these stalks, the whole little net pot, and just pull out that whole head of celery and lift it up for everybody to see. What happens at this point right here is you can see all the, it's, um, the root system is floating in water. And at that point, what happens is the water is being cleaned. It's being cleaned, uh, the bacteria is being cleaned through it. It's oxygenating the water for the fish to be able to breathe. And the fish are now getting fresh water again. So as the process runs through, the root base is what naturally cleans the water back into um, its system. So it's a really amazing process. The system works, it works all over the world, and um, we are lucky enough to have it here. I've dabbled in it a little bit um, by having ponds and stuff at the home, and you know, we grew peanut grass and all kinds of silly stuff, and um, Colin's really just taken it to the next level. So hopefully we'll be able to grow a million pounds of food here next, within the next year. <laughs> the fish are being fed um, we do give them some rabbit pellets because we have rabbits on the farm and the rabbits eat completely organically so they um, mostly eat that and their um, diet is of organic fruits and vegetables and to organic timothy hay so they eat the rabbit excrement so as you can see nothing goes to waste around here <laughs> not even the rabbit food we have a variety of different greens. We have chard. You have um, field greens. We have some uh, red oak, green leaf, and some um, mixed greens here. That's celery. And some more chard and basil. And um, here we have tomatoes. There was cucumbers in the back. We have peppermint, spearmint, and... Um, I see some carrots. We've just we've been harvesting and transplanting. What else we got in there? Lemongrass, a blueberry that we dug out of the trash, and we see a couple leaves on there. Maybe it'll make it. And uh, yeah, kales and cabbage and uh, broccoli. So pretty much just about everything that grows in our soil-based garden we grow in here. Organic Gardening 101. We do rain barrel workshops. We do health and nutrition workshops. If you go to our website and on our calendar, it's filled with a variety of um, just a mirage of different things that's happening. We do master gardening here as well. I'm one of the master gardeners, and um, so I teach a course there. And I'm also a master naturalist. So I've done master naturalist one, two, three, and four. So um, so we do a lot of that as well. Um, we do a lot of outreach, and we also do, um, I do farm tours for about four to 500 uh, different classes throughout the school year here. So we keep pretty busy, right? We also, my husband and I started beekeeping about two years ago, so we have our aviary back here, and the honeybees do all their work. Um, we collect the honey here, so the raw honey is unfiltered, and it's 100% raw. And we just spin it out of the um, hives uh, when we're done, and we put them back in. And you'll see that we do have raw honey that is for sale.